It's um, actually a mobile phone that looks a bit strange. Uh, people think it's a pepper grinder, but actually it's a mobile phone um, where you can use and making it smaller. But then uh, with technology that is already available, uh, we can make it into a computer actually because it has a laser keyboard and a Pico projector. Today we can get 32 inch screen. Uh, within six months, we can actually project 96-inch screen with a device that is this big. And that, of course, will change mobile TV quite dramatically, but it will change the way we work and the way we interact with new types of um, uh, information. And new services, digital utilities, of course, financial services. Here we have made two phones. and. Um, could look like this to actually transfer money in the future. Maybe not, but still the financial sector and the money transfer is a huge opportunity because people tend to carry their mobile phones with them all the time. So we need to integrate new services in the mobile phone that helps everyday life and make it more convenient. Payment, mobile payment is of course one emergent uh, <coughs> service that is happening now. Who think about new services that are connected, that are screens, in this case a table which is interactive. Microsoft is already doing one, we have two uh, at Ericsson showing, where you can actually um, download a game and play together with your family. <coughs> Uh, you can watch uh, the newspapers in the morning when you put your coffee cup on the table. It downloads all the newspapers that you subscribe to and then you can read that with full multimedia, video, hypertext and so on. Television will be the three-dimensional television. And now we have all technological basis to implement such kind of television. Stereoscopic television is not a uh, very new thing. But we can ask why uh, seven-dimensional television is not widespread. I think that the problem is uh, the different types of three-dimensional displays or televisions use different formats for video three-dimensional video content and the solution I think uh, will be to compose some video format that will provide the universal way to transmit additional information about depth about value of video. I think we will see lots of different solutions on uh, the payment model and different business models because for certain types of content you are not willing to pay, you want it for free. So the question is how fast that will be implemented and accepted by the next generation and also what will the dark side of the internet do because now they are doing privacy programs so they are untrackable on the internet for example if you want to download illegal content and so on. It, it will be a battle.